Capricorn. Capricorn, this is going to be a general read for you for October 26th to November 1st. Keep in mind, uh, we're going to be, it's going to be a general. I don't know what's coming out of the cards. This uh, could be anything. It could be love. It could be career. It could be a mix. It could be who knows. That said, if we're going to look at your current energy, your desire, the outcome, what's working for you, and what you need to be aware of. That said, Capricorn, let's get started and see what's cooking in the cards for you. Ooh, somebody's in love. Off the top, we get the lover's card. So that is Gemini energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Throat's a little dry. Um, so off the top, we get the lovers. And then we get the page of pentacles in your desires. So somebody is, seems to be wanting some good news uh, financially. Uh, this can also be that you are really starting to work on this love energy. Now we also have this ace of swords in your outcome. So ace of swords just says, hey, things are going to be... Um, Things, you're going to win out. You're going to win out over these things. And <clears throat> you may need to use some mental clarity around what is going on, especially when we're all in love because everything seems so good all the time. Uh, but you may need to use your head around this as well. Then we also have the fool that shows up. And this could be a cool, awesome opportunity that shows up for you. Or it could be uh, you might need to make a choice. And then we have the chariot. Uh, things are moving. Things are moving quickly. Uh, they're coming towards you. Or you may need to show some strength. Buckle up and hold on for this ride. So let's clarify. Lover's card. Clarified by the two of pentacles, seven of pentacles, and the wheel. So the wheel could be a Sagittarius. Uh, but I'm looking at the two of pentacles. So balancing... Um, Balancing your emotions with what's going on in your life to create that security around you um, so that you can start something new with somebody. It seems like this lover's card um, has you up in your feels at the same time you're working uh, on creating a future. Now we have the Page of Pentacles. What's the Page of Pentacles about? So we have Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Six of Swords. So although this energy of um, that you're starting to take action towards, maybe not a lot of action, uh, with the Page of Pentacles behind it, uh, but there is good news that's coming, and it's going to have you moving into uh, more of a, a space where things are calmer, where you can actually catch your breath, and get a feel for what is going on. Uh, it could have you tied up in your emotions, and sort of uh, making rash decisions, but be careful with that. Uh, Ace of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Tower. So eventually uh, we have this outcome of, of triumph and success coming through. <clears throat> We're going to need some mental clarity around this uh, Knight of Cups. So this love offer uh, that could be coming in or you could be sending out uh, has us into this idea of two of swords so two of swords is kind of that mm, a decision has to be sort of made like which is the best way to go uh, I feel like uh, something needs to be done but you're just not sure which way to go with this but there's going to come a moment uh, where that is going to become crystal clear uh, with the tower now Sorry, I forgot to mention, uh, the world could be your card here. Is the, sorry. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius energy, not the world card, I apologize. Uh, that said, we're looking at the Fool now, and the Fool is working for you, and how is the Fool working for uh, our Capricorn? Well, as there's unexpected opportunities or a big choice, and I think this big choice could be linked to this love thing, 
uh, there seems to be uh, the feeling that you have to defend yourself with this individual or you feel like you have to defend yourself with this individual constantly because they're the ones that seem to be calling the shots uh, with the shadow side here. Um, there can be a lot of sort of manipulation on their part and it seems like it's been happening for a long time so there might be a choice around that uh, for you or at the same time you've been fighting your inner demons and you're winning. Uh, it's it's taking some time, but there is uh, good news on its way that things are progressing more into a more positive uh, type vibe as you are winning out over the things that you're facing within yourself. <clears throat> we also have um, the Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords, and the Four of Wands showing up, clarifying the Chariot. Now, that chariot is kind of, to me, I, I kind of, it's one of those things, buckle up and hold on. Uh, but you're also the driver of these particular things. Uh, these ones don't actually have any reins. So this could be one hell of a ride for you. Through the light or through the dark, uh, we also have the Ace of Cups. So whatever's coming is coming towards you quickly. And this love offer uh, has you with this Queen of Swords energy, and I see this as kind of this woman that is a, um, she's clear about what she wants. There is uh, no emotion around her in the form of water, but she's clear in what she wants. Uh, she knows what she wants, and it seems that this is that stability that you are craving. You know what you want in, in creating that stability. Uh, Capcorn, I'm going to pull three more cards for you just to see what else could be going on. Well, this is interesting. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Death card, and Temperance showing up. So, you're afraid to lose out, but the battles that you're going through over here... Um, are causing you to change. Those changes are for the good with temperance here. Uh, or you could be dealing... Uh, or those changes are going, sorry, to have you healing to some degree. Uh, but be patient. Be patient with what's going on. Be patient with yourself. Uh, be careful that you don't miss the lessons uh, that you need to learn because God knows we hate to go back through those lessons and get spanked again. That said, Capricorn, that is what I have for you today. Best of luck with this week, and we will talk to you soon.